we are seeing um, quite a high number of uh, children that are severely uh, malnourished. This is uh, the worst uh, situation we've seen in about 40 years. The food security situation is very, very dire and uh, we are having more children falling into malnutrition because they do not have any food to eat at the household level. So as a country, Kenya, we are very lucky that uh, the production of ready to use therapeutic food is happening um, in the country. We're in the epicenter of need, not only in Kenya, but also Somalia, Ethiopia, South Sudan, Burundi, Rwanda. We're operating 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we still can't keep up with the need. You are now in our new facility, which we started building about 15 months ago, and this is record time we've ever built any, any operation. This will be the largest RUTF manufacturing facility in this part of the world. It's what makes this place work. It's not just the equipment, it's the humanity. Okay, we test this food, ready to use therapeutic food, in order to ascertain the safety of the product. I've worked since 2006. Uh, it's almost 15 to 16 years. And the reason why I love it is because of the safety of the personnel and we also deal with the safety of the food of the product for the malnourished children. Yeah, the main ingredients for making the RUTF, which is the ready-to-use therapeutic food, skimmed milk powder, sugar, vegetable oils, and it's fortified with a block of vitamin premix and minerals. One mix takes roughly four hours to package and we are able to run between five and six mixes in a day. Each mix is 15 metric tons. That makes on average 75 metric tons per day. When you think about the ready-to-use therapeutic food, it is an incredible product. A mother doesn't have to keep her child at the clinic anymore. Now she can look after the children at home. The clinic is not you know, pressurized. UNICEF has, has been a tremendous asset to, to me personally because they've been hard on us. And I'll explain to you what I mean by they've been hard on us. To go through the audits is one of the toughest things that you can go through. But what we've realized is that they only wanted to improve us. Our goal is to become the lowest cost producer with the highest quality product that we can make in Africa. We take every precaution to be able to feed the right food 100% of the time. We can't take a single chance. <laughs>